Now we've all been in this situation before. You realize that you have a bad habit that you want to break or you're trying to create a new good habit. We start off strong, however, after a short while, we kind of plummet and stop doing the habit and we just end up at square one. Bella, what are you doing? Well, in this video, I am going to show you how to create a habit tracking map in Canva and use in OneNote and it's going to keep you motivated on staying on top of your habit tracking and reach your goals super easily and even make habit tracking pretty fun in the process. Now, if you don't know me, my name is Anna and my channel focuses on planning and life organization. I've helped thousands of people create a OneNote digital planner. So if this kind of content interests you, consider subscribing and let's just jump right into it. Okay, so I'm gonna go on Canva now and I'm gonna create a custom design. And I'm just gonna look for outlines of flowers. Now again, you can use any sort of element or image that you want, as long as it's an outlined version of a picture. Then I'm writing a habit tracking map on the bottom and saving it. Now to remove the white background, you need to search remove white background from in image from Google and you'll find this website. You add it to the website and then it'll just remove the background for you. Um, the low quality image is enough. You don't need the high quality one. Now I add it to OneNote. Now, for each plant, I'm just gonna add them as notes because we want to count how many areas there are that we can color in. And each area that we can color in is counted as one day. And I'm going to separate them. For example, the third plant has six leaves. I'm going to count that as six days. And then the flowers themselves have a lot of petals in them. So I'm not going to do all the flowers together. I'm going to put flower one and flower two and flower three. So you can see how I do it. And now I'm going to just format them to make it look nicer. And we're going to count the days. Then we're going to move on to figuring out uh, what kind of rewards we will put for each section. So um, how I get my rewards is to get the ball rolling, I usually start from Google to get some inspiration. But what I also do is I, in the middle of the day, I might have an idea and I immediately write it in. So when I do these habit tracking maps, I can use those as ideas. So if I'm, if I'm doing something in my life that I really enjoy, I make note of that and I write it down. Just kind of look at your life and be like, oh, what, what are the things I really enjoy doing? And they, they can be different things. They can be small things and big things. We need both of them. We need small rewards and big rewards. Now I'm also counting the days for each plant and I'm going to write it down as well. So whichever plant you don't have to do this, this is just my prefer personal preference, but 
whatever plant has the least amount of days goes first or you can do flower from the very left start from that and go to the flower from the fair very right i just feel like if you start from the plant that has the least amount of days it'll be easier to accomplish which it's like it's like levels in a game the lower levels like level one is a lot easier than level four you know what i mean so i kind of see it as that and then i'm gonna add the habit that i'm going to be tracking for this habit tracker i picked journaling now what kind of habits should you pick um when it comes to this kind of habit tracker i would pick a habit that's only takes a few minutes especially when you're starting out it should be something simple like if if you haven't worked out or you barely work out and you suddenly start tracking lifting weights at the gym five times a week for one hour go that's like going from zero to 100 real quick and you it's just not sustainable i got my reward ideas so i'm gonna add them right here now what i do is i start from the most simple reward and when i start going down i get bigger rewards so as you can see plant two is on the very bottom i'm also gonna put numbers for each flower because i want to be able to tell a part which is flower number one and flower number two without thinking about it and then basically whenever you finish a habit you can take whatever color you want you can use this pencil and you can fill it in and just select it and put the order to very back but that's too many steps so what i end up using i prefer using a highlighter as you can see it's not going over the black because it's kind of transparent so i prefer that i like to use different colors but you can use the same color as well if you want whatever you prefer so that's basically how it goes now i'm gonna do it properly for this flower here since this is the one we're starting with because I have plant number three as my first. See, I colored the first plant. That means I got a reward and I cross it off. So I highlight the rewards only when I've done them because sometimes I like to postpone the rewards as well like you don't have to do them on the same day you can just do it on do them on different days that's totally fine and the leaves are their own section so we have six leaves, which represents six days in a row. Now, see, I did one plant is complete i did a total of six days and 16 days in a row now when it comes to not doing your habit see for example we're on plant four and we're on the third flower i skipped a day that means i have to erase everything and go back to square one of plant four if it's a bigger habit probably i would just erase everything from plant four if it's a smaller habit like a quick 10 minute workout then i'll probably erase everything and if this video helped you in any way consider subscribing comment like or share and i will see you next time ciao